So, sir, this your uh, trader money, we yeah. don't they carry you work at different parts of the country now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go like to know how many people this trader money go reach because we don't read about different things. Say by the end of this year, when I get the number of people, uh, mm-hmm. how many people now won't reach by the end of this year, and how many people now don't reach so far? Two million by the end of the year, we'll reach two million. So far, um, we don't reach almost 1.3, 1.4. So far, okay, across so, the country. But so we'll two million over the end of the year, by the end of twenty year. billion. Yes, that thing yes. goes up already. Yes. You yes. know, a lot of people where don't they talk about trader money because mm-hmm. me are the experiential, are they see everything where they happen. A lot of people can't they worry say, she now because the noise can't they day much now where year they end, and a lot of people they wonder say this thing don't they go tete. I mean, now because election they come. Now they make them make that they noise the team, make the team they get more volume. <laughs> now some of the people where they outside they ask all those kind okay. questions. Well, yeah, the the thing we say, this government, our government, now government of the common man, from beginning, for the first time in the history of Nigeria, we launched something called social investment programs, mm-hmm. and there are five such programs. One of them is what we call JEEP. Government uh, entre- Enterprises and Entrepreneurship Program. Two loans are in that jeep. One is called market money. The other is trader money. Market money is the one for, you know, the bigger traders, between 50,000 and 350,000. That's for people who have small, you know, they are medium-sized businesses. But the trader money is for the petty trader, petty trader like Meshai, Mesuya, mm-hmm. person where they sell plantain, person mm-hmm. where they sell groundnuts, you know, small uh, traders. Many of those traders, when you look the thing where they, and they sell self, some not reach 2,000, some not reach 1,500. Mm-hmm. The whole tray where they, and they sell, or the whole table where they, and they sell, no, not even pass that time money. But those people now then, they plenty pass for this our country. Mm-hmm. And then they plenty pass. So if they talk business, if you don't talk about the, the people where they, where, where, where they sell 1,000, 2,000, the people where they sell plantain, if you don't improve that one, how you go improve business? How you go touch the people where they, the majority of people where they this country? So all those people where they talk, say, maybe in an election, maybe not this, maybe not that. When will they do this thing? Since we don't, they do them. They don't talk. Now, because the election come near now, they can't see, say, these people, they touch common people. Then they come, they talk. It's not, no, there's no time for that for uh, uh, worrying about it. Like, that's not the issue. The issue is that our own economic policy, the way we, have, we don't design our own economic policy. And I say, now from the bottom up, from the bottom of the pyramid up, that's how we have designed it. That's why we have trader money, we have conditional cash transfer for the poorest Nigerian citizens. That's why we do those conditional cash transfers for the poorest people, okay. you know. All of the policies where we don't, be, uh, where we launch since under the social investment program, nah, 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 for common man. That's how, that's our approach. Interestingly, all of these things we will they talk about now under the social investment program. Yes. And according to the uh, special advisor to the president on the social investment program, so far they don't release 220 billion naira to them. Mm-hmm. To t- uh, do, or even though they never spend all the money, according to what she talk. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with the come my mind, we say two hundred and twenty billion. Our minister for uh, petroleum talks say we need five hundred million dollars to fix refinery, the four refinery where they exist. So, why the government not think of say may they release this money? We not even reach the two hundred and twenty billion to fix the refinery, mm-hmm. and instead decide to put this money into the social mm-hmm. investment program? No. First of all, let me explain something. The 250 that you are talking about is in two budget cycles. Now, let me say, when you total all the money where we don't spend for social investment program, since, 20, since 2016 to now, now 250 billion. Nobody said they don't release 250 billion for this one alone, no. No, 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 not before. It's the total. Yeah, uh-huh. It's the total. Uh-huh. It's the total. Yes. But you see, the, the thing with uh, refinery and all that, if you, if you, if, if you look at $100 billion, $100, $100 million is about uh, $36 billion. You know, It's about $36 billion, uh, or so. Yeah. Is that yeah. About yeah. Yes, yeah. about $36, 36 billion. Yes, uh-huh. yes. So 
That's the, so if you look at what it takes to fix all the refineries, it's not, it's, not, it, 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 it's not 500 million to fix all the four refineries, though. No. And what we have decided to do is that we cannot, as a government, be running refineries. Mm. That's the mistake we made from the beginning. In the early days, I want to, I, some people don't even know, say this, now this current president, this Buhari, Naim, Naim built all the three, first three refineries and the 3,500 uh, 3, kilometers of pipelines in Nigeria when he was Minister of Petroleum. They would not even know But not being the head of state, though. No, no, minister. Yeah, it was a minister. It was minister, yeah. and I didn't do him now. As minister, and I didn't do him now. I execute him now. And I'm no minister, you come talk now. And I didn't do him. But 3,500 kilometers of pipelines. But what we have learned over time, now say, when government, they run business, no be good business. It's not, mm. it's not the government, not mm. government. Yeah. Make government create the environment for private people to make their own business. Mm -hmm. That's why the way we are trying to re redo our refineries now, they say we have invited several oil companies. So ENI, um, uh, um, I've forgotten the, the name they are called, ENI and Shell are in one consortium trying to, re uh, re to do the refineries. There's another, there are three other companies in another consortium doing another refinery. We don't want a situation now where the government they do their own refinery mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Now I say government they do petrol station. All sorts of things could happen there if government they do petrol station. Government official could come say one free petrol, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So we don't want government to do business at all. Mm -hmm. uh, but but for this but but this one way where they talk, for the man where they do business. So if you say make them they fix refinery, how about people where they do business? Our country. You they hear them now, then they say, then they say many times, they say, ah, many poor people there, many poor mm. people there, you know. In fact, in 2012, in 2010, the last uh, poverty report which was presented by the National Bureau of Statistics said 112 million poor, extremely poor, in, 20, in, in 2012, 112 million. If you don't support the poor people, in your community, if you don't give them resources, as they do for other countries, you don't support them mm. to do business. Say you are building a refinery, you people go die now. Mm. You must first, you must make sure that people where, where, where they suffer, then get some help now. If you don't help the people, make them do business, make each person get your own work when they do. Ah, then that one, our ally, one cause. Like this school feeding program, where they talk about, mm -hmm. we go see big statistic. We go fear common man. But for mm. the higher government, now like God, they look us. You know, say we they small. Mm -hmm. But for small people, I baby like say big. We go here like 49 billion. Now they don't spend the school feeding money. And like 24 states, now they don't reach mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. Some of these states where it never touch go begin say, hey, what thing we do where they never reach us? What it be the criteria where they choose these states where they don't choose us? So now some of those things that where them go they talk. Mm. He gets tired mm. because poverty there every state. And these 24 states where they don't reach you so, they're going to feel like chairman. Like saying, we get government here. <laughs> so some of the people there are going to talk, say, see our governor now, because you know close to federal government, too, no, that's not one, and no come our own true. area. No, so, in fact, the first government will get school feeding in Anambra State. And Anambra State, now, not be even a piece in Abga. <laughs> now that the first government will get school feeding. And that's one of the states where school feeding, they go on very, very well. Now, they, they then be the very first state where they get uh, school feeding. Lagos, not get school feeding yet. Ogu, just get school feeding. I just be given uh, school <laughs> feeding. So many states, not, not, but we have school feeding now in 26 states. 26 right. states. Altogether, 9.2 million children every day. Nine with a feed every day. So it's, uh, I agree with you. Say many times, the uh, government know they explain things very well so that people will understand them well. But this thing, we, the, this school feeding program, now, very important program because the first problem where would they get, especially for small children, they say if they know they eat well. The thing they disturb even the way their brain they work. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. So WHO, World Health Organization, now let us know that. Say, look, oh, malnutrition, the first problem with malnutrition, we say, go affect brain. And once it don't they affect the person's brain, once it affect the brain of a small child, it will make it difficult for them to even learn well. Mm. In any way, even hungry, any hungry child say, how I go learn now? That, that one another problem. How 
child where they do, where, where they hunger, where they hungry, how you go learn anything. Learn. So that's why we decided the school feeding program. One, because we want to make sure that pub, in public schools, though, all the government schools across the country, any child who is there will give at least in the first primary one, two, and three, we'll give them food. Mm. One good <coughs> meal a day. Now that thing also, the people where they cook the food, now from that community then go come. Uh -huh, so those ones they find so those that one, they find gets work. one question where she uh -huh. win. Uh -huh. Okay, so those ones they find that okay. one with the way to make you reach there. Okay, <laughs> maybe okay. for whole you say sir <laughs> Sir, okay. hold it. Okay, uh -huh. wait now make I finish now. <laughs> uh, so that one uh, the the um, cooks where they cook them. Um. Mm -hmm. Now from that community then they bring them come. Secondly, the food itself, now from the farms where they get them. So, for example, now in one week, in one week of uh, feeding, we we do six. Uh, we, we use six point eight million eggs. One 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 week of feeding, over three hundred. In fact, uh, if, if you count the chicken, uh, three hundred and eighty-three thousand or so uh, mm -hmm. that we use of that. So it's a lot of. So the farmers, all the rice, where then they use the cocoa, mm -hmm. where then they use mm -hmm. now from farm. So okay. that one has to create okay. employment, employment, has to create mm. jobs. Mm. So they create job for the cooks, they create job for the farmers, they create job for the for people where they do poultry, all the people where they do uh, chicken, um, eggs, eggs, and all mm. of that. So now, so that's what we take plan. I'm say this thing as we feed our children. We also go to feed the baba and mama in the house in also. The so house. make them so they, they find work to do. With the, the federal government, they do especially in collaboration with other states, because this school feeding, as you make us understand that, mm -hmm. not be just fed, states must be fully involved. Mm -hmm. What the federal government they do to ensure, say, the quality of teaching go improve, because when they talk about primary school, mm -hmm. and you back report, say, the money with federal government put down to support the universal basic education. Most states, they can't part, part money where they support bring to yeah, assess no this money. money. They're not bring at all. So what the federal government to do? Because we know that now what the officer and improve the standard of education for primary. Mm. What the federal mm. government mm. do mm. presently? Mm. Mm. That. You, you, are, you are right. Say because the UBEC money day, that money now for say make states can add their own put yes. to do projects, do classroom, do all sorts of projects. But many of them, now they put down their own uh, money. They are supposed to put down 50% or so. But now, we don't see, say, that's the they work. So what we are trying to do now is say, make we just agree with the states. Say, even if you know fit put down all the money, you know, you could still access the, the thing, so long as you do the project. I'm the ch uh, chairman of National Economic Council. National Economic Council now the uh, committee where all the governors day, and I, I'm the chairman. We meet every month. One of the things where we they talk, they say, let us agree. If you know if you find this 50% put, okay. Even if you put 10%. Mm. The, the problem is saying our law say they must put down hand. Mm. That's the problem. Yes. But we, we, we they look and say, okay, if we, if we agree, okay, the law deal, we have not amended it. We don't know how long it will take to amend the law. That one another problem, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> but let us, we're not going to talk that one today. <laughs> but you see, but we have agreed that, okay, even if you are supposed to give 50%, mm. we, can, we can work it out in such a way that if you give 10 first, or if you give five, we can agree. Mm. You will access the loan, and then you will pay the rest as we go along. So we are trying to uh, agree a way, because we have seen that over the years, this day not they work. Mm. Some, they do our more. Some yes, states, they put yes. their own money down. Some, they do our but most of them, not they do. They don't, they don't put any money down. And the complaint is saying, we don't get money, we don't get money, we don't get money. Mm. So that's what we're trying to do. Um, ah, Papa, you're there Lagos, so we must ask you one question. We, uh, is something mm -hmm. we concern mm -hmm. Lagos mm -hmm. people. On the 20th of July, you become Lagos, you give um, directives, they made them come up from make all the trailers and tankers where they disturb our Papa people, made them come up for that place. It can't be like, say, something won't happen that time. Small, small, then come together. Before we know what they happen again, everywhere done, the whole of the people where they live for that Papa area, Sulere area, people where they come from, work from that axis, then presently they suffer. Tankers don't go back. In fact, if you, this um, Eco Bridge, mm -hmm. if you enter that place now, you reach all that Urbanikoro area where they park. 
people they spend time where they're supposed to spend, they do something productive for that traffic. People where they come back from work, you come back, you don't tire because of that traffic and everything. And all of these things they boil down to waiting they happen for a papa pot. Mm -hmm. Waiting with they waiting how we go fit take find lasting solution. This thing no be saying that only this year they happen. And no be only say because they close the road for a papa wedding they repair and be why it happened. Mm -hmm. Because last year it happened, two years ago it happened. Mm -hmm. How we go fit find lasting solution to this issue mm -hmm. to take the congest the the, the, the port. Mm -hmm. Waiting be the plans for mm -hmm. the other ports mm -hmm. where they for inside the country. Okay. Let us first explain say you know this port where we where we get so now thirty eight million metric tons they build and make it they the, the kind uh, goods the kind cargo where that place fit handle now thirty eight million metric tons now it they handle eighty four million metric tons hmm. so it's too small for the volume that is handling it's too small the meaning of that we say too many trucks will be going there containers and all sorts of things. When we had the first problem, when I came to Lagos the first time, you know, we see, say, all the roads around there don't spoil, finish. All the roads around there, mm -hmm. they don't spoil, finish. So we agree, say, we go fix the roads. One of the things that we agreed, we say, we go fix that, we will come fix that wharf road also, the one where they go all the way to Osho, I think, yeah. mile two. Mm. Uh, we don't almost complete the one around the port now. And then we they go uh, all the way to mile two. We must fix those roads. If those roads are not fixed, we'll have a problem. We'll continue to have the problem. So while we are fixing the roads, if you, if you look at the, in front of the port, you get one bridge where you are going to yes. uh, build. Then open half of it, then close the other half. So people know they use them. That bridge, they must open that bridge. They must complete that bridge. And so one of the things here we they do about two weeks ago, we say, we don't tell you, but I say, you must open this place. You must complete this thing and open it. Because na that's now one of the major problems. Even after we don't fix the road, if they're not finished that bridge, we could still do the kind of trouble where we're there now. Mm. But for a long term solution, three things did. Mm -hmm. The first, they say, now we are building Lagos Kano Railway. Okay. We are building from Lag the first phase is Lagos to Ibano, and it's from the ports. So many of the goods will be taking them out by rail. Wow. Okay. That Lagos mm. Kano is a major, that's a railway that we're mm -hmm. building now, but we're, we're almo almost reached Ibano, but it's from the ports at that railway. Estimated time of completion now when? We should, we should finish by the end of, we should finish maybe January to Ibano. Oh, yeah, to okay. Ibadon, not to Ibadon. Ibadon. Not to Kano, okay. not to Kano, not to Kano. We should finish, we're hoping that we can finish to Kano in about two and a half years. We're hoping we can finish. This is a, I, I don't want to talk, maybe may, may they're not saying that politics is a talk. No. He get, he get, he get, he get, he get government with this since now. Then they talk all these things. They're not do up now. Now we they do up now. now. We just come, they do up now. But anyway, that's not another, another day. We go come and talk that one. Mm -hmm. So this one, I say, we will get the road. I uh, will get the rail. That's one. The second, we say we have other ports. We have Calabar, which is being dredged, uh, which we're we we we're, we're dredging. I think it's Calabar that we're dredging about. You know, we've done about 10 meters of dredging. Okay. So some of these other ports, we have to make sure that we can divert some traffic there. But the problem is, and so far, if we can divert some traffic, it will help, but it will not solve the problem completely. Mm -hmm. The reason they say, now Lagos, everybody they do, 60% 60, 60 of business is here in Lagos. So when people will bring things from all over the world, they won't use them here. That's the problem we have. Almost 60% of the business of this whole country is here. Industry, everything is here. Oh. So we, when we, we we'll do the railway, we finish the roads, then we do the other ports, you know, fix the other ports. It will, it will, make, it will definitely make things uh, much, much better. Easier. Much, much better, you know. All but right, once sir. we have completed, once we've completed the railway across the country, you know, we're doing uh, Port Harcourt, Maiduguri, we're doing Lagos, Calabar, Lagos, Kano. Once we fix the railway, railway is the best way to transport goods all mm -hmm. around the country, mm -hmm. inland ports, dry ports, all sorts of things. That's what we should do. Once we fix the infrastructure, all this one a small uh, and a small problem. Mm -hmm. good business go there, manufacturing go there, improve people go, go there, do their business and carry their goods all around easily. To enjoy more of this, our Ugun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.